Good morning, guys. Hope you're doing well. Today, we're here at uh, Happy Sushi in Vancouver. They're on Fraser Street. And uh, we're going to have some uh, all you can eat. So So we've already ordered quite a bit of stuff. We got some uh, miso soup, some veggie salad, some yam tempura, as well as uh, rolls. So these are some of the stuff that they have on the menu. Quite a bit of things. It's a little bit, the restaurant is a little bit uh, small. I think they have room for maybe 10 to 15 people, but the cool thing is that they have all you can eat. So. Today, we're going to have some sushi. Stay tuned as we dig into the menu. First, we're going to try the salad. Looks like they have some kind of a sauce on top of it. Mm. It's like ginger. I think wasabi or maybe hot sauce. You get like a kick of pea, but then it has like a sour citrusy flavor to it. It's really good. It's really refreshing. These are one of my favorite salads. And then their miso soup, it's a little bit light. As you can see, usually some places you see a little bit more like, uh, how would you say, it's not thick, but you'd see, I guess, maybe more. Uh, yeah, I guess a little bit more grainier or more thicker. Uh, here it looks lighter, so hmm. it's good. It has a seaweed aroma, nice pieces of tofu, as well as green onions. It's really nice to wash down the, the sushi with. Well, then for the sushi to start out, we got California as well as dynamite rolls. So the California roll has, I think, imitation crab, uh, avocado, seaweed, and it's topped with sesame seed. Just gonna dip it in some soy sauce. Mm. It's really good. The big rolls, my fish is really soft, the rice, it goes really well together. And here we got the, I think, yam tempura. I'm gonna show you guys the plate. So, right here, actually, we have a variety of stuff. This is yam tempura, we got prawn, then we have uh, corn cakes, and then also we have hash browns. And we have some more like nugget styles here at the bottom. We fritters. And then fish sticks. So they brought us just some sauce on the side. I'm just going to dig in with the uh, fish sticks first. See, it's just like it's a little sweet. It just tastes like bread, bread sticks. It has like, I don't think it has no aromas or anything like that. It's a little bit spongy, chewy. The outside is battered, so it's crispy. And then the inside is chewy, like doughy, but 
That's on a, in, in a good way. It's kind of like dessert to the sweet. Don't forget, guys, make sure you uh, sign up for our giveaway. We're giving away $25 gift cards to Brown Social House as well as uh, one, uh, two movie tickets. Uh, there's also a giveaway for uh, Baraka East as well as uh, $50, two uh, $25 vouchers to uh, Pizza Station in Port Moody. Mm. This is the fish cake. Wow. It's soft. It's really good. It has a little bit of like a fish uh, flavor or uh, taste to it. And it's really nice. The outside is crispy. Inside is soft and um, juicy. And they brought us also some Japanese tea. I think they, they uh, it's known as rice um, tea. Last but not least, here is the yam, uh, big pieces. Mm. I love the yam tempura. It's nice and sweet, um, crispy, soft on the inside. It's a nice uh, change to when you're having sushi. Uh, it's like a nice change for your palate. Then here. Let's have a big piece of hash brown. I think it's just potatoes. So I'm going to cut it in half and try it first without the sauce. So it's potato hash brown basically. Mm -hmm. And the next one is a um, corn cake. Let's see if I can get it. Hope I don't drop it. It's filled with uh, sweet corn. Let's try. Mm. It's buttery, sweet, and that sweet corn comes in really well. Let's try it with a sauce. Mm -hmm. I think they have coconut in there. Yeah. Sweet corn. It's fried. Again, it tastes like a, a dessert dish, but similar to the other one. It's on the sweet side. It's served with the remote. With all the um, yam tempura as well as the other tempura items like the prawn and also the fish cake. This one was the other sweet one. Hmm. This is your uh, dynamite roll. It's huge pieces. They got shrimp, uh, avocado, as well as yam uh, tempura in each roll. Then it's topped with uh, fish eggs and wrapped between seaweed. Huge, huge pieces. I'm going to see if I can have a one bite. Pickle ginger. It helps to clean the palate. Supposedly, um, the way you're supposed to have it every between every roll. If you have a piece of ginger, that helps you clean the palate and gives you ready for the next bite. I love the ginger because it's also good for the health. It builds the immune system. And here's the prawn tempura. 
Right. For me, I could have sushi breakfast last day. If you like sushi, hit the like button and comment which was your favorite roll. Check out the size of these California rolls. Huge. I'm gonna just wash down everything with miso soup. Uh, in California roll supposed to come with crab as well as avocados but I think usually because crab is more expensive most places they put imitation crab which is I think just a, a kind of fish that they use instead in replacement when the chopsticks not working you can just basically shove it in the food item and it still works you have to be creative, you know? If you guys ever go anywhere, Japanese restaurant and, uh, you know, for sushi or anything, I highly recommend getting this salad. This is one of my favorites. They usually put it in big top boxes as well. And anytime that I go for sushi or I go all you can eat, I always get this. <laughs> the dressing that they use it's really unique i think they put orange in there because it's like sweet citrus seed and there's ginger like spicy there's a lot of flavors that go in it it's so good look at the dressing it's like brownish it's like miso soup but it's really really delicious one big plate done, one salad done. Almost done with the shrimp and we ordered a couple more things. So I'm going to give them this paper. And we have more, so maybe, never know, we could use all of this tonight. They also have spice on the side that you can put on top. Usually, you know, I have the miso soup, but here we had a little bit like a stronger order of seaweed, so I didn't really enjoy it. But the sushi is good. It's really good. So what I ordered a deep fried shrimp money bag, deep fried scallop, uh, deep fried oyster, uh, Thai sushi, and uh, avocado cone, golden, and uh, one spicy tuna cone. That's okay. So they don't have the deep fried uh, oyster, but we'll get the rest just to give it a try. Well, they have a lot of stuff on their menu. I think outside that I saw their sign, like on the sidewalk, they're saying that they have over a hundred items to choose from. And on here, they have from 101 A101 to A175. And then on the right hand side, they have like another probably 25. So yeah, it's like a hundred, maybe a hundred, hundred more than a hundred because they have these also in corn, which basically wrapped up so you can get it in rolls into small pieces or you can get them wrapped up in a seaweed which they call a roll so and actually all you can eat here is not bad too because i think it's for adults it's 18.99 or 95 
The only thing is just a little bit smaller, so you come, you have to come with like smaller groups. Here is the last bite of the uh, dynamite roll. These rolls are super big. Super big. Ginger. Main time we go for sushi. Usually, I'm the only one eating the ginger. So we have a new setup of the wireless mic as well as a light. Hopefully you guys noticed it. If you like the new audio, if you like the lighting, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. More great videos coming soon. More unique food items. Also, maybe some vlogs. My thoughts. I'm gonna be making more videos. The past couple of weeks, actually, I had been a little bit busy with home, with life. And I didn't get a chance to put a video up, but I'll try to have at least a video once a week. The good thing about this place is also that they don't have any alcohol. So it's just strictly sushi and then you can get your pop, tea, water, but no alcohol, which is perfect. Most other places that have all you can eat, they actually serve alcohol. Um, so for example, if you don't want to be in such a place where alcohol is being served, you can't go there. But, you know, if you don't mind it, then this is also an option without alcohol. And that's also an option. So I, I guess I'm going to be eating some uh, more items. This is actually a sashimi, some kind of a white fish. It's just uh, fresh fish on top of some uh, white rice. Mm. It's really fresh. When you chew it, the fish Thank breaks you. down. Thank you. And uh, no order, which is good. This is those shrimp money bags they were talking about. It's really, really cute. It looks like a bag, so they've actually wrapped them up. And inside, I think, is like a dumpling filled up with uh, shrimp. And then uh, fried, deep fried, and then there's also some cake. And here is the uh, tumen, uh, tumen, spicy tuna. Uh, hole. Wow, there's a lot of tuna there. Mm -hmm. Let me just bite this first. This one also, the sam, the um, fish is raw, and the tuna actually has a stronger odor. It's spicy, but the fish order is a little bit stronger. You just you get like a hint of spice. It's not too overpowering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try the spice. Mm. Has no smell. Looks like they have like uh, black seed, some looks green, and also red. So let's try. Mm. Spicy. It's much spicier than the spice that they had in the queen. Mm. 
Let's try the uh, shrimp money bag. It's so good. I think the shrimp, corn, carrot. That's all that I can see. But it's really, actually, really flavorful. <laughs> It's hot. So I think they just took it out of the fryer. But I like it. It has a lot of flavor. Yeah. Carrots, corn, piece of shrimp wrapped up and then you fry it. And all the adults will probably like not adults who are all adults like the older and they also brought us oh this is actually deep fried scallop mm. we had it earlier and I thought it was fish cake no yeah these are actually scallop I ordered the uh, salmon head. I've never tried it today for you guys. I wanted to try it and see what it is, how does it taste like, how is it served. So it's coming up. So, I mean, I can get off it's really nice looking outside. <laughs> it's pouring rain. Uh, the restaurant is right across uh, London Drug on Victoria, and I think the cross um, section is 14.9. There's a little mall or shopping area has McDonald's, London Drugs, Starbucks, and a couple of other places. Things. This turned out to be a big dish. I thought it was just going to be the salmon head. It looks like it's just a whole salmon body. Wow. Well, actually, this probably half of the salmon head. She's still working. Let's dig in. Looks good. So it looks like they have black pepper on top. And it looks uh, crispy. Hi. Almost mm -hmm. mm, Nice. It's crispy outside, and inside is like really nice and soft. And then you get that taste of like the pepper kicks in a little bit spicy. I think they have salt on top of it too, so every bite is a little bit salty, a little bit spicy. Mm. It's crunchy. It's unique. Because some parts are really crispy and, and crunchy and chewy, where the other parts are like nice and soft. I think in one dish, you can get a lot of textures. It doesn't have a lot of meat, which I guess it would make sense because it's just a head. This is, you know, I've, I've, I had tried like goat head and stuff. Although it's not my favorite, but I've tried it. This is the first time I'm meeting 
Salmon head. So some pieces, some areas have actually like big chunks of meat, but like I said, it's 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 not uh, a lot of uh, a lot of pieces in there. Just some. It does have bones, so just be cautious. If you guys do, just try to try this. Oh, I think I'm, I did pretty good job. I didn't think I was going to be able to finish it, but good thing was didn't have a lot of meat. Huh? Well, I didn't have like a strong fish smell or odor or anything like that. And the spicy tuna actually had a spice, uh, more of a fishy odor to it, but again, that was less raw, so it's kind of expected. But this, it's cooked well. I think maybe with the spices, no odor at all. It's really nice. So basically, you can consider it a uh, big fish. You know, I'm not sure how much more of this they eat, like what you're supposed to eat. No, I think the remainder is uh, definitely bones. Hey, I don't want to, I ordered this, I don't want to waste it. But. I think it's good. I'm good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and if you like sushi, let us know what's your favorite role. Thank you very much for watching this video. We're out of here. We'll see you in the next one.